I'm there one night and Danny, you know, you know how it starts yeah. out. They start out every one of these. This is imitation, <laughs> it, 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 yes. like um, uh, intimidation 101 yeah. here, kids. This is how LA jam <laughs> sessions and open nut mic nights work. The house band starts the evening. Yes. So you are watching, you are in attendance and you're watching like a super group of musicians that you know and love from records that yep, you've purchased. they'll finish a set, yeah. And they do their four or five yep. songs, guns a blazing. And for me, um, you know, I got on the list and I was going up first after the house <laughs> band got done. And the guy on the drum kit was Danny Carey from Tool. Oh! Wow. <sighs> so, yeah. Wow. Careful, careful what you wish for, kids, because... Um, yeah, I had to follow up, you know, Danny blazing chops. And yeah. What was what I thought was cool at the time was, um, and I don't know if you're a double kick guy. Yeah, I could. I could okay, so I, I like. Double, I could watch. <laughs> I I like double kick stuff, and I use it. I use the double kick pedal like like Neil. Did. Yes. Neil didn't do the you know, driving sixteenth notes. Maybe on a song or two here. He'll blast. But th there's something um, that I do with like drum fills and adding the yes. doubles and, yes. and in between. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I like the double pedal, but go to an open jam night, uh, you will not find a double pedal no. on a kit. Well, unless Danny Carey's playing yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the beginning of the night. So Danny gets off the kit, and I'm like, I go up there and I'm like, hey, Danny, my name is Mark. Do you mind? I, and I tell him quickly, I'm like, I never get to play a double pedal at these things. So do you mind if you leave that up there for me? It's his oh. personal double, you know, DW5000, you know. And uh, he's like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. It's cool. I, was he a nice guy? Oh, super nice guy. Okay. And gave me props afterwards, too. Oh. He's a super nice guy. Tall, very tall gentleman. Um, but I get to go up there, <laughs> and I'm, I sit down at the kit, and of course... It's an uncomfortable setup because he's a he's monster tall. and he gets to set up the way yeah, he wants. Of course. And when you do these open jam nights, you don't you get any time nope. to work nope. out the angle perfectly to your or you know, your ergonomics. Your ergonomics yeah. yeah. You don't get to do that crap, you know? And that drives me nuts because I like to be comfortable to be able to do my thing. And there's actually YouTube videos out there right now. One, you know, Ken Roberts sent me one uh, not too long ago about that very thing, like being able to sit in yes. on somebody else's yes. kit, being able to do these open jam nights in big cities like this. In New York, you're never using your own kit. Nope. You know, you're using the house kit. What Deal else? with it. Yeah. Deal with it. So I sit down at this kit. And, you know, I've got my buddy Gene Makovsky there, who I met at the Baked Potato, who's still a friend of mine. One of my very few close, <laughs> like, you can trust friends in Hollywood. And uh, we're playing these tunes, and I'm using Danny's double pedal. And Danny's a big guy, man. So you got it all spread out. Well, it's not that it's so spread out. It's the, the backswing of the oh. beater. When he, he sits shit? down, when he sits down at the kit, the pedals just go down. Yeah, you yeah. know. So the 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 pedal, the 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 beater is set way back. Yes. So with every beat, oh. I'm getting the beater, the backswing of the beater to the top of my foot, just right. pelting me in the top of my foot. Right. That's a very tender of area. Yeah, of your yeah, foot. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I get off the kit limping because every with every beat I'm getting punched in the top of the foot by this DW five thousand beater. What you like? <laughs> <laughs> for the nine thousand. Uh, I know, right? Um, but but that made for a great conversation piece with Danny Carey out back, you know, uh, the back patio where yes, you, we yes, all yes, end up, you yes. know, smoking and drinking back there. I come out there and Danny's, you know, sitting on the hood of his Porsche and, and I'm like, thanks a lot, man. And I tell him the story and he was just laughing, but he's like, yeah, I heard you in there, man. That was, that was really, really good. <laughs>